Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is the D day guys. I'm going to be traveling for my birthday vacation. Today is Thursday the 12th. My birthday is on Saturday. So I decided to travel two days before. So I'm going to be traveling today. But before anything guys, a little commotion for my eyelashes guys. Look at that. They look so nice. They look so cute and I love the fact that eyelashes elevate your look like instantly because look at that i love just the way they look like i had them installed yesterday i'm going to plug you guys up a a description box to the lady that did them and also by the way because i'm traveling to the coast and there's going to be a lot of swimming and everything i'm going to give you a review when i come back because she told me they're going to survive so i'm going to give you guys a review when i come back so I have a flight at 3.40. Right now it's around 11 and I want to leave the house because I want to get to the, to the airport on time to check in and everything and also have time to create content. So stuck in Kukua and last minute. I don't want to rush. So I'm giving myself enough time, air traffic and everything. So I'm going to leave my house in a few. So I just decided to start this vlog here. So I'm going to take you along with me. And actually again, before I forget, this is going to be my first flight and I'm so proud of myself so instead of catching feelings let's go and catch a flight guys Hey guys, I got to the airport, checked in, and the good thing I was here on time, so I have like an hour to rest or check around or just do whatever I need to do. But I've already checked in, everything is in order, so I'm good to go. I'm just waiting to board. So I'm just outside here because I have a lot of time. So I'm just going to chill and wait for boarding time. I have like an hour to just roam around. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a calm and rescue me. Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me off the market. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's all. I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I want to test my love for you. Don't know how to express my love. That's why American Express. Yeah, 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 my love for you. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. And I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me But they don't even need to be as famous as me I don't think I meet them at the places I be But deep down I think about you all day, mommy I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy Come and rescue me Take me out the club Take me out the trap, take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a con. Hey loves, I just landed to Malini and I'm so hungry. I can't even eat it. But uh, the flight was awesome. I got a boda guy and everybody to the place that I'm, that I'm to the place I'm staying. And here is actually my room. I'm outside because uh, inside the room is a little bit dark. So I think I'm going to show you the house tour tomorrow because. The lighting is not so good. It's currently 8 minutes or 6. The flight delayed with uh, like I think 10 to 15 minutes thereabout. I was supposed to get here at 4.55 thereabout. But the flight delayed a little bit. But we landed safe and I'm happy. I'm going to show you the room tour tomorrow. I'm not so sure whether I'm going to do anything right now. But if I do, I'll let you guys know. I, I might go get something to eat because then I'm so hungry and I don't think I have the energy to cook. So, yeah. 
Good morning guys. Yesterday I didn't manage to talk to you because Aki I was so tired and I actually ended up cooking because I have a very sensitive stomach and I hadn't eaten like the whole day. So siku ataka kurisko kula anywhere else because yo my stomach is another case. So I settled in, I just settled in, showered, looked for food, nika pika, then I went to sleep and i'm here and i'm happy i'm in malindi i'm feeling so good guys i feel so good and the weather right now is so good by the way it's not too hot you see the way you land in mombasa and you want to take off your clothes it's not that hot it's just you know almost normal something of the sort so it's not so hot and this is the perfect weather of having fun around here so right now i want to go and have breakfast then after breakfast i'm going to go to billionaire because today is on friday and i'm beginning my activities today so i want to be so i want to go to billionaire because i mean when everyone comes here they go to to billionaire club it's a resort actually and then um i was actually when i was actually checking on tiktok um resorts or luxurious places to visit in malindi it was just billionaire 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 you know so because i was like trying to check and see whether i can get somewhere else but i didn't get Yet. so i'm just going to billionaire there's somewhere else i saw that is also along the billionaire place so i'll just go to billionaire have a drink or maybe uh something of the sort then after that i'll check out the other place if i manage to do that of course i'm going to fill you in guys but for now let's have breakfast get ready then head to billionaire so that is the door i know you guys can see that and then on this side we have the wardrobe it goes all the way down that is a wardrobe. This is where I'm going to be keeping my clothes. It's pretty nice, baby. I love the design. It's giving vintage. Yeah. In like a vintage, vintage ish. And it's really pretty. It's like a bed sitter ish. So on this side, we have the bed. Yeah. So on this side, we have the bed. That is how the bed looks like. And on that side, we have the window that has a curtain that has mini colors. But it's okay. We are going to work with this. And this side we have like a study or maybe working space you can sit here and work in case you need to work let me show you the bathroom here there's a sink and then there's a toilet on the on this other side but most of the places just now are muslim they usually have this kind of a thing and then after the toilet this is a place that i'm supposed to be showering from the airbnb had a beautiful swimming pool which i thoroughly enjoyed although i only got to swim once and this place is called joyce villa you can find them on airbnb on tiktok i'm not so sure whether they are on instagram and i think i love the outside more than the rooms the rooms were just standard but again worth the money because i was paying 2500 per night so this is what i'm having for breakfast i'm having some viazikarai sausage and an egg and on this side we have some fruits then drinking chocolate here and i have a whole thermos here in case i need some more i'd paid for bed and breakfast here at the airbnb and i can say the breakfast is pretty decent Hey guys, I'm ready to head out. I have a few activities to do today. But first, I want to go to Billionaire because you cannot come to Malindi and not go to Billionaire Club. So that's where we're going to start. I'm going to show you my outfit a little bit later. Hey guys, I just got to the billionaire club. It was not so far from where I'm staying. It was maybe like five to ten minutes uh, with a boda boda. It's um I think you can walk, but it's quite a distance. But with a boda boda, it's quite near. So I just want to check it out, see what I can have here, then take some photos, some cute videos, and uh, head over to the next activity. But before that, let me show you guys around. 
so this is actually a beachfront uh, resort i know you guys can see the beach this is the sign for senior what one of the younger picture you could do a billionaire resort and restaurant and then i think far ahead you can see the beach this is their restaurant this is their restaurant i'm going to show you guys inside in a bit and then there is this beautiful uh walkway in it and waiver <laughs> yeah you walk this way to the reception and to the other part of the resort and also here there's just somewhere you can sit chill have your drink or a meal let me show you the inside of the restaurant then i'm going to order something American Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. Okay. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. And I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money with. I decided to have some mocktail because I just come here to chill. And this is what I'm having. I'm at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just want to take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'm a call away, mommy. Come and rescue me. Take me out the club, take me out the trap. Take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a calm and rest your Take me out the club, take me out the trap, take me off the market, take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's a calm and So guys, after Billionaire, the plan was to go for snorkeling, but my snorkeling guy has not called me yet. I think he's waiting for more people because with the snorkeling and with this uh, boat, I always prefer to go with other people because I cannot trust these people to go with them alone. So there's an option of hiring the boat alone and then also you can as well go with other people. So I decided if the guy is going to delay, I go somewhere and have lunch. So I went to Dream of Africa and I'm just seated here by the beach. It's also a beach front. I don't know whether you guys can see a beach behind me here. Yeah. You can see that it's also a beach front resort. I went to have lunch. So I'm just seated here in this bed. Yeah, I'm just seated here waiting for my order. So in the meantime, I'm just going to relax here, listen to some music because I don't read. So I'm just going to listen to music. I've not been online since morning and it's quite refreshing. I feel so good with it. It's, it's true, actually, and I've not been on Instagram, I've not been on TikTok, I've not been anywhere. I just decided not to buy any touch with this. Uh, I really hope you guys can still hear me both going off the pop here. So, let's wait for that order. Done saying I'm done playing. Last time was on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising. Most people in my position get complacent. Come places with star girls. End up on the front pages. I'm quiet with it, I just ride with it. The moment I stop having fun with it, I'll be done with it. I'm the only one that's putting shots up and like a potluck. I couldn't speak on the camera no more because the, it was so windy guys and I was afraid you'll not hear me but I ordered some chicken and some chips and let me tell you this meal slapped it was so sweet I mean I think I've not had fries this sweet in a very long time and um, the portions were really good this was like half chicken and the sauce it was chicken barbecue and the sauce was amazing guys like I thoroughly enjoyed this meal it was really good and something else they are many is not even expensive for this plate i paid only 1500 uh, kenya shillings only yes yeah, so their menu is quite affordable and i really really enjoyed the place the place is so beautiful the place um the pool is also really nice and if you want to swim and you're not a resident here you pay 1500 to swim i didn't like need to swim so i just opted to have lunch then i went to my next activity which was snorkeling and this was my pretty outfit of the day Someone go tell Noel to get the backwards. Money got my whole family going backwards. No dinners, no holidays, no nothing. There's issues at hand and we're not discussing. Look, I did not sign up for this. My uncle used to have all these things on his bucket list. And now he's acting like, oh well, this is life, I guess not. That sh Listen, man, you can still do what you want to do. You got 
gotta trust that Heard once that in die times when you need a sign, that's when they appear Yes, since my text message didn't resonate, I just say it here Hate to fat my mom cooped up in her apartment Telling herself that she's too sick to get dressed up and go do shit Like that's true shit All my family from the M town that I've been around Start treating me like I'm him now Like we don't know each other, we ain't grow together, we just friends now She got me feeling pinned down Pick the pen up and put the pen down I'm going to voice over some parts of this video because the wind was not giving me peace but uh but I know party information so for the snorkeling I went to marine park which is like 10 minutes from Malindi town and um this is actually where billionaire resort is also located it's actually the beach you guys were seeing when I was at billionaire and uh, unfortunately we did not get more people to go for the snorkeling with so I ended up going alone and uh, because the couple was referred to me by by my friend i paid 2000 for the bush riding for the like basically the snorkeling if you're lucky enough to find a group of people the snorkeling can get a little bit cheaper you can pay anywhere from a thousand to two thousand depending on your bargaining power but when you go to these places just make sure you bargain with these people they know we are here for enjoyment so they can sometimes overcharge you so make sure you always bargain with them because uh, they always tell you if you hire the boat alone you pay 6,000 Kenya shillings which is a lot of money but um, as I said earlier I was referred to a friend and I was able to uh, bargain with the guys they charged me 2,000 I was a little bit scared because I was all alone with some two guys but um, we did not have we did, but I didn't have any challenges everything was just so smooth I went for the snorkeling with a guy called Babu and another one called Said, I'm going to put Babu's number on the description box because he's like the OG in this marine park. So in case you need to visit, you can call him to go for the snorkeling and don't forget to tell him I sent you. So yeah. I'm back from snorkeling guy and I had so much fun though I need to find no go because uh, I actually ended up going alone at the end of the day, but I went because I got a guy that my friend recommended to me. So at least we need a confidence because we didn't get more people and we really just had to do this. But I had a good time. I'm back. I swam Kidogo. I swim Kidogo too because yo, I know how to swim, but Maja Ocean is where I draw the line. And especially Kama Hakuna So I, I'm done with that. I'm going back to the Airbnb. I was hoping I could go to Hell's Kitchen today. But time is not going to allow me, so I'll just have to do that tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you maybe when I get to the room or tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day in Malindi. I didn't manage to talk to you yesterday when I came back. I was so tired. So I just I actually got here, swam a little bit, then uh, prepared to go to sleep. And I was also preparing for today because I'm leaving quite early. It's around 7.40 something. I was actually supposed to leave here at 7, but I'm late. I'm going to the health kitchen and you're advised to go there either very early in the morning or in the evening. So I wanted to catch that in the morning because I didn't manage to go yesterday evening. But I'm 47 minutes late, but it's okay. I'm going to catch a Boda Boda, go there. Uh, then after that, I'm going to Mamrui, then wrap it up in Malindi, then go to Watamu. I'm still going to Watamu today. The good thing with the, uh, the good thing, Watamu is not so far from Malindi. It's like maybe 25, 30 minutes drive. So I'm still going to be okay. So today I'm going to do those two activities, then travel to Watamu, then I'll see you guys later.
emotions running high. I wish you felt alright, just hitting my line all the time, all the time. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. you stay on my mind all the time, all the time. So guys, we just go to the health kitchen and let me actually remove this hat. Yeah, that is how it looks like. You can see the beauty behind me. You can see that. This place is so beautiful and there's a lot of history here and very beautiful places to take photos at. I'm an inn. You know what I mean, right? So we, I took a Boda Boda. I preferred a Boda Boda because it's easier and also I didn't want to risk coming with a Matatu because after you alight from the Matatu, you also need to take a motorbike and I'm also working with very Kidogo times. I need to be at the Mambrui at 12 because that is when my booking is. So I didn't want to like use public means. No, it's chilling. But the good thing I'm Managed to get here on time so i'm just gonna be here for like maybe an hour or an hour 30 minutes then i'll wind up then go to mamrui but in the meantime let me show you guys around uh, the guy has told me here you hike for like um 45 to an hour minutes that is the hike it's tiring and i wore the wrong dress because i'm looking like the the background as well but i think i'm going to change for photos and the shoes i wore guys i wore some sandals <laughs> you need to come here when you visit malindi we drove uh it took us like an hour to get here with the motorbike uh if you're driving it can take it can take if you're driving it can take 25 to about 30 minutes yeah uh, with a matatu not so sure because you know matatu in asimama kushukisha and all that uh, so approximately let's just say it will take you like an hour to get here but it's totally worth it guys this place is beautiful i'm going to show you guys more as we go around as we hike and shanza kuhema already it's been a few minutes but i'm going to be okay <laughs> I'm going to be okay. This just shows how unfit I am. I asked these guys why this place is called Hell's Kitchen and he told me it's because it gets really hot. It goes it goes up to even 50, 45 to 50 degrees. That is why it's called the Hell's Kitchen. And also when you plan to come here, make sure you come either very early in the morning or uh, at around 6, 6.30 thereabout because it gets like really hot to the point that you cannot like, uh, like access the place. So if you need to come here, you yourself very early in the morning or in the evening. So apparently there is natural makeup here as you can see there is this yellow there is this yellow there is this this is almost brown and this is almost like white so the guide was telling me you can actually mix this with coconut oil and it becomes makeup but makeup anyway I had an amazing time hiking at the health kitchen. I paid only 200 shillings as entrance fee and the guide was 500 shillings which again guys you can bargain. So after hiking at the health kitchen I went to Mamrui. This is me in a Boda Boda on my way to Mamrui. I got here changed and I also got this Arafat which I hired at 100 shillings. There are guys at the gate who have Arafats you can hire at 100 bob and they have different colors and guys this is our little kenya dubai so many people believed i was in dubai but guys i was in kenya this is malindi this place is called mamrui and kenya is such a beautiful country so here you get to ride these quad bikes i paid 2000 for 25 minutes you can pay for an hour or even more it's pretty pricey but it's totally 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 worth it guys i was legit feeling like i was in dubai and please note guys, the quad bike guys are only here on Saturdays and Sundays, so you have to book with them, but you can find them on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'm going to link their page on the description box as well, and I'm also going to leave a contact person. There's a guy called Brian, that that is the guy that guided me here. And he was really, really amazing. I had a very good time here, guys. No. Them, them love me since 
I was actually packing because I'm supposed to check out today. I actually checked out in the morning. I put my suitcase at the counter. So I was putting the stuff that uh, I was using today, like the clothes and everything, because I'm heading to Watamu. And I figured I'll just close this vlog here because it's been a little bit long. So I figured Nikishika Nishana Watamu is Dakwa Mrefu Sana. So I think I just wind up Malindi, then I be I'll begin another one in Watamu. So it's been amazing guys. Malindi was awesome. I enjoyed myself. Like every activity I did here, um like every activity I did here was awesome. The snorkeling I went yesterday, oh my god, it was also really nice. I enjoyed myself and I think I will never get over those boat rides. I mean any day, any time. Because I mean I've been on those boat rides so many times but I always enjoy them. I didn't manage to swim a lot but I just enjoy it. I don't even like the swimming part. I don't even like like the snorkeling part in um, in as much as you still check the fish down there i just enjoy the the ninis the boat rides like really make me feel so good like i love them and yesterday was amazing i also tag the guys that uh, i did the snorkeling with yesterday uh one of them is called babu and the other one is called Said yes, the other one is called Said. I'm going to maybe link their numbers on the description box in case you come here. You can call them because they were amazing, they were really good. Dream of Africa was also amazing. The place that I went to eat lunch, the Dream of Africa place, was also really amazing. I actually went there for lunch when I was waiting for my snorkeling guy to call me, and it was amazing. I mean, Malindi has been amazing, and I really love the weather right now. Like, it's so good, it's not so hot. I'm not feeling like taking my clothes off any minute. So it's been awesome. Thank you so much guys for always being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching this vlog. And guys, when you come to Malindi, make sure you go snorkeling and you also go to Mamrui. Billionaire is optional, Dream of Africa is optional, but those two places, please make sure you go. They are worth your money and they are amazing. So that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. I want to catch a matatu to Watamu because a tuk-tuk is going to like bother me a lot. And I figured uku bethi hakuna uba sana. It's either you use a tuk-tuk kama boda boda or uchukwe matatu. Actually the place I was at in the morning, garis nenda uko ni pro box. So I was like, you know what, no, mimi siingishi kwa yo pro box to go out to 20. So that is why i preferred to go with my boda boda guy so you can just get here get a boda boda guy to take you around it's easier that way actually so that will be it thank you so much for watching thank you for being here i really hope you enjoyed this vlog like i did enjoy myself in walindi thank you so much if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe remember to like this video and i'll see you guys in watamu